in part one of this video, we found out that we could solve value problems with two variables by pulling an equation off the first and last column. We remember that value problems take the number of things we're working with times their individual value to calculate their total value. In this problem, we have several people attending a concert. Each ticket has a value attached to it. We have adults and we have children attending this concert. We aren't given any information about the number of adults or the number of children. So let's just use A for the number of adults and C for the number of children. We then attach a value to each of them. An adult is given a value of 250. Because this is in dollars, 2.50, we will do everything in this problem in dollars. Children tickets are assigned a value of 175, also in dollars. To calculate the total value in the adults, we multiply A times 250, giving us 2.5A, and we multiply the children by 1.75 or 1.75C. We're also given some information about some totals in this problem. We have 105 people total attending this concert. This is a number, the number of people. This is the total when we add together the number of adults and the number of children. The other total we're given is 228. This is a, this is a total amount of money. This is a total when we add the adults and the children's money together, we get $228 brought in for the concert. Again, we'll get our equation from the last column, 2.5A plus 1.75C equals 228, and from the first column, the number of adults plus the number of children equals the total number of 105. And we can now solve this system using either the addition or substitution method. Let's try the addition method. We can easily get opposites in front of the a's by multiplying both equation by negative point, whoops, yeah, by negative 2.5 on both sides. The first equation then is 2.5a plus 1.75c equals 228. That one hasn't changed, but when we multiply by negative 2.5, we get negative 2.5a minus 2.5c equals negative 262.5. We can now add those together with the a's subtracting out and eliminating, giving us negative 0.75c equals negative 34.5. Finally, dividing both sides by negative 0.75, we get c, or the number of children, equals 46. We still need to find the number of adults, and we can do so by plugging this back into one of the original equations. The last equation, a plus c equals 105, is probably the easiest place to go. a plus c, which we just found out was 46, equals 105. Subtracting 46 from both sides, we find out a, or the number of adults, is 59. At this concert, we have 46 children tickets and 59 adult tickets.